All right guys, welcome back to the Paranormal Review. And today I wanted to review this flashlight with you. It is a Through Night TH20. And uh, this flashlight, I believe is about 520 lumens. And uh, I've been using this for about a month and a half, two months, so I can review it for you guys. It is a really nice a headlamp, um, which you can pretty much put wherever you want. It's not the most high-tech attachment, but I actually like that about this attachment, okay? You can rotate this up and down, however you want, okay? To whatever angle you want. Some of those are more high-tech ones that kind of have those notches and stuff, you're not able to do that with. It um, kind of interferes with the ability to use it, okay? Other thing I like about this flashlight is I've dropped this thing several times climbing up and down hills. I just dropped it four feet just now. That, was, uh, that wasn't good. It has a bunch of rocks on the floor. And it does not break at all. Um, you can submerse it, I believe, a foot or two. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I've tried it, but, I mean, I, I hate doing that on purpose. <laughs> but um, Through Night is an awesome company. They're high-quality flashlights. And this thing is really, really durable. I mean, it's not a hammer, but, I mean, I almost, <laughs> almost feel like it could be used for a hammer and uh, it could survive. Now, I'm, this is really useful. I reviewed another flashlight of theirs, which I've been using as well, but this is really useful because it goes on your head and you can, when I'm out here looking for Bigfoot and stuff, it's really, really, really nice, um, especially in these videos that you're gonna see coming up when, when I'm out here doing some exploration at night. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll get out here at night and I'll, I'll show you some uh, more about this flashlight. Now, the, how you turn this one up and down is you actually grab the button here on the right, hold it down, and then it, it decreases and increases in power, okay? Just like that. Which is really useful because you don't have to tap it a bunch of times. You just hold it down, you can watch the flashlight dim or get brighter, and that is really, really nice for me um, personally. Now, um, Comparing this one and the handheld one, it's a completely different ball game because this one allows you to be hands-free, okay? Um, in, my extreme, in my Extreme Survival video, uh, channel, uh, we, we do a lot of stuff with our hands and that flashlight, holding one flashlight and having only one hand, this is very useful for that as well. I know this isn't my Extreme Survival channel, but if you wanna look at that one, click up here. Um, but this is gonna be very useful, especially on the Bigfoot channel, on the Paranormal Review, because um, this is gonna allow me to hold my camera hold some other <laughs> tools or my revolver, for example, if, I, if I'm out in, at night and stuff like that out here in the, in the forest, which, uh, you know, holding a camera and a revolver and a flashlight, that's not very easy, uh, especially since most revolvers don't have the, you know, light attachments on them and stuff like that, some handguns do. So this is a definitely gonna be a very useful tool. I've already used it a ton and uh, you guys, I would check this flashlight out. I'll put some links in the description because honestly, this is probably one of the best flashlights I've ever used and it is definitely the best headlamp that I've ever used so I would check it out through night is an amazing company amazing flashlights they're all their stuff is really high tech really high quality and you can't go wrong by getting this I'm not even kidding okay guys you're gonna see this on almost every single video at night unless I'm just doing an all unless I'm doing a nighttime blackout video which isn't gonna be that common you're gonna see this flashlight a lot so pay attention to it go grab one for yourself um, you'll see this on my survival channel as well as my paranormal review channel and Guys, please subscribe. Check out the rest of the videos. We'll talk to you guys later. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm gonna do the actual night test of this of this uh, headlamp. And uh, this headlamp, the, it's the Through Night TH20, and it is an amazing flashlight. Uh, some of you guys have seen that I've been kind of off YouTube for a little bit, and there's a couple of different reasons for that. But uh, so I must apologize. One of the reasons I have took a while to get this video up, in particular, was those lower things as well as um, a little problem I had. I was actually off-roading there like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, some, somewhere in there. And I opened the back of my car and my backpack with this flashlight, the headlamp fell out of the car and rolled down a hill. And I wasn't able to get back there because I, I didn't want to go down the hill by myself. We had to get some ropes and stuff. And we actually ended up going last night at night and uh, the, uh, this other through night actually helped me down the hill. It's the Archer 2A V3, and that was a great help because it is small enough to carry while going down that area. Now, I'm, I want to compare these two flashlights. They're both excellent flashlights. Um, so this flashlight, I'm gonna show you quick. This is the uh, this is the 2A V3 at its brightest setting, and this is the TH20, the headlamp at its highest setting. Now let me show you on the ground out here. 
it's kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see some light movement over there. But this, you can definitely see that a little bit more, right? VA23. TH20. Anyways, guys, um, it's hard. The camera doesn't do it justice because this is really a great flashlight when I'm out doing survival videos or hiking in the forest or camping or when I'm looking for evidence of paranormal creatures and stuff like that, as this YouTube channel says. Um, this, this comes in handy, and it's rare that you find a headlamp that's actually brighter than a handheld flashlight. So this handheld flashlight is, a, is not as bright. It's definitely very bright. But it's not as bright as this headlamp, and I like that a lot because I can keep my hands free. I can do a lot of things that I cannot do while carrying this flashlight, you know? If I need to get to a handgun, if I need to use a tool, you know, I, can, I have one hand, but it's much easier to do two-handed work on a lot of different things, especially when you're out in the forest. So, anyways, until next time, please check out these flashlights. I'm going to put some links in the description. I'll talk to you guys later.